She's wearing this for me. <laughs> that are watching Cindy and my channel you might have heard us talk about that there that we are going to redo her living space slash bedroom and we have a plan for it we just needed some furniture and we got a beautiful wardrobe and it's actually being brought to us at this moment by the person who's selling it he's coming to bring it and then in a couple of days we can pick up a couch and then uh, and we, I think we because she's here, are going to transform this into an awesome space. So, but this is stage one, getting the wardrobe. I'm very excited about it. I think it's beautiful because it's like an antique one. So it looks fancy, fancy. And I think that's very good because her cottage is so cool. So it'll, get some, it'll give some character to it. So I'm just walking the dogs and enjoying beautiful sun. You can't see it. Enjoying the beautiful sunrise. But Cindy's down with the help to get the wardrobe if it gets delivered before I get there. But I'm very excited. This is step one. So welcome to a new video of making her bedroom slash living room awesome. So the closet is here and it's beautiful. I'm just trying to get it a little bit more level. And then we can start filling it up. This is what it looks like. It's so cool. And, and there's drawers in the bottom. And now I am trying to get it more level so that the doors are open properly. So let's do that. Yesterday I was walking here and there was a snake sunbathing. And that was actually one of the things on like my little bucket list of things I would really like to see. And the other thing I want to see is an otter. But, or a beaver. But uh, it was just here and then I was grabbing my camera, but I was like, oh, snake! So the dog started barking and then it left. It was so bad because it looked so cute. And the only shot I have is this little shot of his little tail wiggling away. But it's so beautiful and I love little snakies. Well, saying that, I've never encountered like a snake like telling me to go somewhere else because I don't know if I would like them still. <laughs> But I think snakes are so wonderful and beautiful. And I'm just having a look around to see if there's no new snakes. But it's getting warmer here, so like all the little lizards are coming out. The geckos are, well, maybe they're always active, but I just noticed them yesterday. And the sneakies are here, and the ants are out, and the bees, and everything is out. So yeah, it's so awesome. I'm just gonna have a little relaxing time because Cindy's going into an online meeting, and then we're going to Organize her wardrobe. I'm so excited about that. Go
this is what this room is looking like currently and the plan is to also add a couch here but we don't know if there's going to be enough space for that but this is what we got to work with having another meeting so I'm gonna go up to the van with the dogs chill out for a little bit and then do the last bit and then if she wants we can go get a couch when she first asked me to go do this she was talking about that she wanted a couch so I put everything to scale and I made this little map so she can move stuff around gave her some options like you could do this you could do that and then she really liked it, but now we were moving stuff. She's like, I don't know if I want a couch. So we're gonna think about it. We have to pick it up tomorrow if we wanna go get it. And then this might have been the last chore that I'm doing here. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna be doing, there's another little thing I want to do, but it's getting so warm. I don't think I'll be able to do it. It's little pigs. Pigs are getting picked up, you guys. I'm very happy about that because Cindy has a gazillion pigs at the moment and like four or five have now left to new homes so that's awesome baby pigs so that's making it less hard to take care of everybody yeah so it's a fun here it's just the work never ends it's just never ending it keeps going pigs break stuff pigs get sick animals get sick animals get born it's never a dull moment here but yeah let's go have a nice rest So I finished with her room, but now I have to take all of this to the shed. It's not that much work. I just have my dogs with me, so I need to see if I can tie them down somewhere. Because all of this can go into the shed. A lot of it is empty boxes and some of it is some stuff that she has like storage, but she doesn't need it in a room. Now, if this was, she was talking about a couch, but she's no longer getting that because we won't be able to make that work before I leave. Now what I, what she's going to do is she's going to put a tele television over there. So she wanted to have a couch over here and then I think this chair is broken. So she, maybe she wants to get rid of the chair, I'm not sure. And what I would do was make shelving there so you can put stuff there. But there's no time, there's no shelving. So this is what I came up with. But I think the wall space is very like um open and empty so i would create some more shelving up here so you can put some stuff and make it look all nice 
but she has a lot more space to roam now. I put the desk like that because then uh, behind the desk looks better. Yeah, I think it's awesome. So I had a wonderful shower in Cindy's shower today, which is awesome. My hair looks like Pipilancas, it's so pointy. And then I got water, I got do Bilou's dog food that I ordered, it was at the cafe. I got all of this stuff sorted out, got groceries, and then we got back, and there was a snake, um, roadkill on the road. Makes sense. So first I thought it was just like a thing, uh, like a part of a car. And then I saw it's a beautiful snake. So I decided to drive to Sydney. We're gonna walk back, gonna see if it's still there. No other animal has eaten it. And then I'm gonna hopefully get a little video because I can get really close and it's beautiful. But I'm very sad that it died on the road. But I'm, I'm happy I can look at it. Well, I'd rather have it alive and me never having a chance to look at it. But this is what happened to it. So I'm gonna have a look. And I was so excited because I saw a snake yesterday and there's another snake. There's gonna be a shit of snakes here? No. I asked Cindy if she ever saw a snake and she said she saw one when she was on the toilet. <laughs> came, came past her. Okay, let's go down the road and let's go look at snake. The little snakey is right on the road over there. But look how beautiful the sky is behind it. It's over there. Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid So I got footage of the snake run over but I don't think YouTube will allow me putting that on the internet Plus, as I was taking the footage I was fascinated and I thought it's kind of gory because he's like run over in the middle of his little body so it's not good but i got you some footage that just shows the beautiful color and hopefully yeah i didn't really think it's good to show him dead but such a beautiful snake i hope i can see another one alive so i can show you the entire snake it's so funny we don't have any snakes in the netherlands maybe that's why i'm not so scared but i don't think there are any venomous snakes here and i used to watch uh, Steve Irwin wrestles snakes and alligators and I've seen them catch them behind the head and like with the tail and so maybe I could even once no I don't think I will ever grab a live snake but I think I would know how to do it <laughs> I, I gently touch this one to find to feel the but it just feels like reptiles feel so strange I don't know I don't I'm just not used to it the, it's there's so much evening red tonight and in the Holland we have a saying that says Avond rood regen sloot <laughs> which means evening red rain on your bed no that rhymes but it means like rain in the gutters so um I don't know if we're gonna get rain I don't think so but it looks beautiful sunset's awesome so we are walking back oh wait let me show you they have these huge ants here too boy I think they can bite, I don't know. Ever since it got warmer, there's all of these holes in the ground. And there's all of these ants, they're awesome. But um, when we were in Czech Republic, Wolfie of uh, Pilou, Wolfie wasn't there. Pilou actually got bit by ants. So I don't really like ants now. Well, I like them, I like them, but I don't like them near my dogs. Anyway, we're going to Cindy because she got us some dinner. We're gonna have dinner with Cindy, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice shot, oh. There's just a tree in the way. I'm gonna get, I want to show you the nice red sky because that's why I'm getting this beautiful red glow. It's because of the beautiful red sky. So I'm gonna get a little shot for you and then we're gonna go to Sydney and have some dinner. So I was thinking, there were some people commenting on the video that came out today saying like, you're so nice, there should be more people like you in the world. And I want to say two things. I can also be not nice, so sometimes people meet me and we don't click and then they are like, who the hell is this bitchy girl? Because I don't take shit from no one. If 
if you're treating me unkind, I will tell you. <laughs> I will let you know I'm not very happy with what you're doing and I will stop being in contact with you. So, <laughs> so some people that know me don't like me. That's okay. And um, I'm helping Cindy, but she's helping me in return. So this is like, she's she has provided an awesome safe space for me and my dogs to stay at. So that saved me a lot of money. She sometimes brings things for me when she goes places. She sometimes gets me some groceries. She's going to cook for me now. So, I mean, she's also super nice. And um, what I always think is, like, like, a thing that I have in my head is I used to watch the movie. I have watched the movie Pay It Forward. And there was this cute little boy and he had this, I think it was like a school project that he was doing. If you help, if if you get helped... You do it. You help somebody else in return. So you pay it forward. And I love that. And I always um, want to do like one nice thing a day. So even if I'm just working, I'm too busy. When I see someone and I feel... Oh, I'm, t I'm making it dark. Why is it so dark? <laughs> I did something to it. So when I... I'm going to hold it here. So when I see someone and I feel like their energy is a bit off that day or something, I just say something nice to them. So I just say, hey, your hair's looking great today. Or Do you, are you wearing new pants? Or did you go to the hairdresser? Something I mean, not something I made up, like in a fake, but like to lift their spirit or just say, oh, wow, you're doing such a great job. Or just... Like, try to lift their spirit, because, like, the same you can see in some comments on YouTube. I'm not pointing any fingers. I'm trying to do this myself. This is so funny. <laughs> I think this is hilarious. Whenever I see something on YouTube, or anywhere, uh, social media, only if I see that they're actually hurting an animal, I say something about it. But if they're not, if they're just doing something and I'm like, why are you doing so stupid? I just scroll. Because... <laughs> my advice or like the slogan that goes in my head is if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it I'm messing up the lighting Wait. if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it if you don't have anything nice to say scroll on because there's so much content in the world if you don't want to see this scroll on don't waste your time and <laughs> what happens is then somebody puts on a video and then people start trolling and they're being unfriendly and then I want to respond to them and say, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, scroll on. There's other content for you in the world. But then I'm like, no, because I need to take my own advice. So me telling somebody else that they should scroll on also applies to me. <laughs> so then I see something and I'm like, scroll on, people, scroll on. Don't comment. Just let them be. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't put that out there because I'm not following my own advice. So then... So so then I scroll on and don't say anything. But that's something like, that's also being kind to somebody else. If you see somebody who you don't like the look of them, or you don't like what they're doing, but they're not harming anyone, you just don't like it, scroll on, <laughs> don't say anything. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else, and the algorithm of all the nice, it's like computers, <laughs> algorithms, getting into places that you do like. So just scroll on. So yeah, that's one of the kind things you can do when you're, it's not even that much, it's less effort than commenting. Just scroll on, just leave it be, leave it be. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Anyway, so what I want to put out there is everybody can be kind to somebody once a day. Just wave to somebody on the street. Like here, maybe people say hi and wave in the Netherlands, it's not common. I say hi to everybody. Hi, good day. And then sometimes that can make a person's day. Sometimes a person is just stressed or whatever. And just a kind hello, a like a recognition of their existence can make their day. Just be kind, but just mean it. Like, <laughs> like do it from the heart. Not like, okay, we have to go out today to be kind to people. <laughs> and say hello, good day, sir. <laughs> good day to you. That won't work. You have to be nice. <laughs> feel it radiated anyway it's just my little tat talk thank you for listening we're almost at cindy's house let's go see what's for dinner my girl what's for dinner 
Uh, I can't remember what what are these things called. Tortellini. Now? Yeah, tortellini. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, spinach <laughs> and ricotta tortellini. She's wearing this for me. <laughs> Lecker. I'm just editing this video and I realized I didn't do an outro when I was done with having the dinner at Cindy's place. I was so full, I was so satisfied. I had such a wonderful day that we went back to the van and we just went to sleep. So yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, please let me know if you ever do something for somebody or if anybody sometimes do, does something for you which makes you feel all nice. I would really like to have some more clear thought about how that is for other people and how you like helping other people or how you like getting helped out. So let me know please. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to Noob Avengers. Thank you.